practices have ended for Texas A&M. That means it's talking season for first year head coach Mike Elko. Now he does have some familiarity with the 12th man previously serving as defensive coordinator for the Aggies under Jimbo Fisher and he'll be stopping by every big city in Texas you can think of Fort Worth Dallas Houston Austin San Antonio over the next couple months but it all started here this evening in Aggie Land. We welcome him back. We welcome him home. Head coach of your fighting Texas Aggies Mike Elko. Coach Elko taking the stage for the first time at a Texas A&M Coaches Night this evening. Many other headliners in attendance as well, royalty. Also, new athletic director Trev Alberts. Big topic of discussion for Mike Elko, building a team and culture in the era of NIL and transfers. Keep in mind, the late portal window is still open. While the system is much different these days, Elko says the challenges of building a program while navigating that is a bit overstated at times. When we spoke to him before the festivities, Elko said he wants these events to be an open conversation between him and the fans. I look forward to the question and answer. I said that when we kind of sat down and talked about coaches' nights and formats and what we wanted it to look like, I said, please don't let me go thunder away for 30 minutes on things I have no idea if they're interested in hearing about. I said, let's, I'll give a brief recap, I'll give a quick State of the Union, and let's let them fire away, and let's have some interaction, and let's hear what their questions are, their concerns are, and, and let's have some open conversation about the state of Texas a and football and where we want it to go. And I'm your head coach. I think that I'm going to be out, I'm going to be public. I think people are starting to see that about me. Uh, you know, I really don't want to live in a bubble. It's not kind of how I want to do this thing. And you know, whether it's you know going out to local restaurants, whether it's going out to the baseball games and supporting other teams, uh, whether it's coming to events like this, I just think um, you know we want to be in this together with our fans, and, and that's how something really special gets built.